China just dropped another powerful tool in the market, which is known as Manus. But the sad part here is that Manus is only available through a waitlist, which means you will have to apply for a waitlist and wait for an invitation code to actually assess Manus. But then again, you have the Skill Cup team. So we found out another amazing open source AI agent just like Manus, which is called Open Manus. Now, using this AI agent, you can create dashboards like this one here that I created with a really short, concise prompt. And as you can see, this is really detailed. Uh, there are some graphs here. The animations are really cool and you have different options here. This is cool. Now, setting this up locally is really simple and stick around. I'm going to show you how you can set this up locally in your machine and how you can make projects like this one here using open manners so without further chatter let's dive right into it and start setting this up locally on a machine hi and welcome back to skill curve this is your host Riz, and we're here at open manners github now open manners is an alternative to manners because manners has a wait list and it is not open source so there has been a lot of frustration for people who are still waiting for the invitation code but in the meantime the open source community has released open manners which is an open source alternative to manners and you can install this locally on your machine and i'll be showing you how you can set this up and configure this in your local machine and start using open manage all right so let's get started with installation so there are two methods one is using conda to create a virtual environment and set this up and the second one is using uv now i personally recommend uv because i have it installed and i like it more but if you don't know what uv is uv is just the next generation tool that can help you set up virtual environments and install dependence and packages on your local machine so go ahead and install uv if you have not i will provide the link in the description so let's get started with the second method here which is using uv now i have it installed if you don't have it installed you can just copy this command from here and paste that inside the terminal and it's gonna go ahead and install this and the other way is to go from their website documentation and install this using these commands here so if this command doesn't work for you you can go to the installation guide here so that's that now let's get started with the next step which is to clone this repo so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this and i'm going to paste it inside my terminal here and hit enter now this is going to go ahead and clone this open manage journal agent for me on my local device so there you go we have open menace cloned now let's go ahead and change directory to open menace and let's clear the screen now the third step is to create a new virtual environment and activate that so for that what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uv and then we're gonna say virtual environment and we're gonna paste this right here which is virtual environment script activate let's just hit enter and there you go it's creating a virtual environment and it's activating that now that we have created our virtual environment and it's activate we can go ahead and install all the dependencies so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this and back here as you can see we have this activate here now let's go ahead and paste that right here and hit enter now this is going to go ahead and install all the requirements in the requirements.txt file and once this is installed we can go ahead with configuration and placing in our api keys now for api keys they recommend that you go with gpt 4 but you can go with any api provide let's say you want to go with grok or gemini flash 2.0 or either DeepSeek. it's really up to you but as for the api key that i'm going to use it's going to be deep seek chat so let's get started with configuration so there you go as you can see all the dependencies and the requirements are installed so once you have everything installed let's just clear the screen now the next step is either you can open this up in your vs code or any other editor or you can manipulate this in the command line so it's really up to you so i have the project open up in my editor right here so let me zoom in a bit now what you need to do is you need to create a copy of this config.example.toml file and you need to name that copy as config.toml only remove the example part another thing that you can do is just rename this one but i'm just going to go ahead and create a copy of it so i'm just going to go and say copy everything and right here i'm going to create a new file and name it as config.toml that's it and here i'm going to paste everything now the next step is to actually set up your api so for the api that i'm going to use is going to be deep seek so i'm just going to go ahead and remove this from here and also this so i'm going to change the base url and the model and i'm going to replace that with the base url of deep seek chat let's copy that as for the model you can see it's deep seek chat here and i'm inside the deep seek api docs so you can get help from there 
as for the api key i'm just going to paste in my api key here and i will save this file of course i won't be showing off my api key on camera but but yes i will be pasting in my api key and saving this file now once you have configured your api key or your llm the next step is to actually start this and for that we can just say python and then we can just call the main file main.py here and this should run your open menace so there you go you are actually running your open menace now and as you can see here it's asking you to enter a prompt here now as i told you earlier on in this video that open menace does not have a ui yet we're going to be communicating with open menace through our command line so i have a prompt here and i wanted to build a dashboard for me so let me just paste in my prompt here and then i will explain what this prompt does so here is my prompt create a web-based dashboard for a stock photo platform with the modern interactive ui the dashboard should include user analytics displaying total users active users and recent signups with graphical insights and much more so once you have your final prompt just hit enter and open menace should start executing the steps and here you can see it's executing this in 20 steps let me zoom out a bit so it's not that packed here and you can see that it's going to take us some time to go through each and every step and once we have the final output i'm going to show you the results look like so there you go open menace has executed all the 20 steps here are the next steps that you can go with and improve the design but i think to be really honest the output is really great so we can navigate to this file here in the open menace dashboard to actually check out the results so i have opened this up in the open menace dashboard and you can see so this is the dashboard it created for us we have different tabs here let's say overview and you can see these tiny animations here they're looking quite quite great and as you can see we have a hover effect here as well as if i go to user analytics this is really great you can see north america here this is europe and this is really great graph activity here this actually looks like an amazing admin dashboard for a website like photostock we have edit options here view option the status joined and the type even their email although all of this is just dummy data for now let's go to photo management okay total photos here pending approval so this is all in all really great we have a revenue where you can see what you've been generating and what's the monthly revenue what's the weekly revenue and what's today's revenue then you go to contributors and you can see contributors over a span of different months here you can see the top contributors here and you can see the contributor growth pretty cool then we have the moderation here all in all this is like an admin panel you can go ahead and approve someone's work or reject it based on your moderation guidelines i think this is pretty cool the animations the design and the analytics everything is spot on we just gave it a couple of lines of a prompt and open menace did an amazing job at creating this amazing code for us so yeah it is a powerful tool although it was quite slow as compared to manners but that will be improved over time as it has just got released recently and is new in the market so with that said i want to wrap this video up if you found this video helpful hit the like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily update thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video till then stay curious and keep exploring